Hey everyone, it's Kat with Wondering Soup. And today, I thought I'd share with you how we look for an apartment when we're traveling. We're in the process, well, we're actually in Hanoi right now. So let me start off with that. And we've been here about four months. Um, we were gonna stay here for six months with everything going on with Corona and slash COVID. But um, we decided why not move? in Vietnam and that way we'll get to see Vietnam uh, without any major health issues possibly things of that nature so we're going to move to Da Nang uh, so we'll be leaving here in the middle of July we're going down to Da Nang for a couple of months see how life is down there but I wanted to share with you how we go about or how I go about finding us a new home via Airbnb now you can do a lot of things when looking for a home. Airbnb is just one of the options that we use. And it's probably the first place that we go to. And we go there to get a general idea of what the price will be in USD, uh, to get an idea of how the apartments are gonna look, sort of to set our expectations, if you will. And then from there, we actually go into groups uh, that are generally set up for whatever city or country that you're gonna be moving to. Um, you can do apartments for Da Nang, apartments for Chicago, and they're all on Facebook and things of that nature. So those are our first couple of steps. So I'm going to share with you in this video the Airbnb. What I'm also going to share with you is some of the tips that you need to use or have rather. Is that the right word? I'm going to share with you tips that I use uh, when I'm looking for an apartment because there are certain things in Southeast Asia that are just a little bit different. Uh, and if you're coming from the U.S. or more Western style apartment living, um, you just things you just wouldn't even look for. So let's go for it. I'm going to be doing a screen share, so we're going back and forth. You'll see me sometimes, sometimes you won't, and that's life. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to log into Airbnb.com. And you actually don't have to log into Airbnb to browse. If you want to save an apartment to a f or favorite to come back later or to ask questions of the host, then you definitely need to log in. I'm not going to log in for this example just because eh, I don't want to. So we are moving to Da Nang, Vietnam. And we are moving on the 11th of July. And we're going to go through the 11th of August. I generally do one month. You can do two months. Just remember that you're going to have to pay up front for that. So if you only want to do, if you like the apartment, you can generally renew for another month, talk to the owner, the landlord, however, and they'll pretty much lock you in for the next month. But this way, if you're not sure if you're going to like it or not, reserve it for a month, reserve it for a week, um, we typically reserve for a month just because it's easier uh, because it's three of us traveling and we don't want to uh, move around a lot. We got a lot of bags, got a kid. He likes to be comfortable. We like to be comfortable. So again, we got uh, July 11th through the August of 11th. And then we have two adults and we got a kid, the boy in the room. All right, so those are the three criterias, um, the location. Check in and check out and guess. Now, again, with, with Airbnb, you can do long-term stays. You can do one month, two months, three months. It's really up to the host, and they'll have their criteria if they, if they want to do that. If you notice up here, there is monthly stays. You can definitely do that. And that's actually probably an easier way if you want to do monthly because that way you know that everybody you see in your search will definitely be set up for monthly guests. And by monthly guests, I mean guests or apartments that are generally fully furnished that are contained things like um, uh, pots and pans, sheets, <laughs> uh, things of that nature. And furniture you can actually sit on and sleep on. So uh, but we're going to go the basic route. Again, Da Nang, Vietnam, our check-in date, our check-out date, and how many guests. And then we're going to do a search. Now, one of the first things you want to do once you're doing this search is you want to go to type of place. And this is really just so you can make sure that you check entire place. 
a lot of people get confused on this. They don't do this. And so they see these great prices. Like, oh, this is great. And they see this great apartment. And then they get there and they're sharing it. If you don't want to share, you got to check off entire place. And then I always go to more filters. And here's where we're going to look for our bedrooms. We want two bedrooms. And you got to specify beds in Southeast Asia. Actually, anywhere. Because... Um, in Southeast Asia, what we found is that they have a tendency to throw a mat on the floor and consider that a bed. Um, they have couches, that's a bed. Um, so you have to specify two beds, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. You need to do that for any of your searches if you're wanting more than one bed. Just to make sure you're actually getting a bedroom. And we, we prefer two bathrooms just because um, we have the boy in the room. Yeah. So um, we want a kitchen. Uh, we want air conditioning. So we're going to go down here to the amenities. And we want a washer. And we need Wi-Fi because we uh, work from home. And some of these things don't really matter for us. We don't need a hair dryer. We need hangers. We definitely don't want breakfast. <clears throat> we don't need a fireplace, a crib. Self-check-in is nice. Um, a lot of places have it anyway, so we're not going to make that a mandatory choice. Um, waterfront, eh, not really. We're, we're, the area that we're looking in, hopefully, will have um, beach in the name. And so that's our beginning. I never really pitch this into facilities because we don't have a car. I don't care if we have a hot tub. I really don't care if we have a gym or a pool. And if there is one, great. If there isn't, I'm okay with that. Property type, I tend not to really worry about this as much as well because I want to see what's out there. And so to me, leaving it wide open is a good thing. And I'm not doing unique stays. I don't know. Uh, pets, we don't have a pet, so I'm not worried about that. Smoking, we don't smoke, so I'm not worried about that. I don't really care what language the host uh, speaks in because Airbnb will translate. Whatever you type, it's going to get translated to whatever language the host speaks. So you're good to go. So this is show 300 states. We're going to hit click. Next up is price. Now, generally speaking, I start with price after I've looked around for a little bit. I know what my budget is, but I want to see what the pricing's like in the area. Because maybe I can go below my budget. Or maybe I can go above my budget because I have to. So... Again, we're looking for a two-bedroom, two-bath. All these should be two bedrooms, two baths. And we need a little space to work in. And we're scrolling here. And the area that we want to be in is generally along this, this strip right here. This area right here. So we're focusing on this Mayan area. And the apartments over here are pretty good. It's 586. Let's take a look at that one. There's two reviews. And let's see here. Excuse all my stuff open at the top. All righty. There's a building. I always look at the pictures. I look at every picture. I'm really concerned when the first pictures are always like outside or uh, something that really just doesn't matter. But we're looking for a space. We're looking at bathrooms. And this host didn't post any pictures of the bathroom. So that concerns me. And the reason why it concerns me is because bathrooms here are different. Um, and I'm just going backwards so you can see what it looks like. The kitchen is small. So if you're going to cook, you're going to have it's not going to it's going to be an electric burner or a hob, built-in hob. It looks like here. There's not much counter space. Um, the Kitchen table is right in the kitchen. There's a little balcony area right there. Uh, you have a decent-sized fridge, decent-sized storage, uh, but it's not the biggest of kitchens. Living room area or family room area, whichever one you're going to call it, it's, it's uh, small. There's just enough room for three people to sit down and a TV, and that's about it. So this is going to be a small apartment. I can look at it and tell. So this one isn't going to be for us. Um, for a couple of reasons. They didn't show any pictures of the bathrooms. And I'll show you why here in a second, why that's important. Um, but all the amenities are listed there. I always look at the reviews, even for a place that I don't really like. 
because they made me tell me something about the area and I may find an apartment in that area. So it's cool. Somebody said it was a very nice and clean room, supermarket bars and restaurants all around, five minute walk to the beach. So this is cool. If you were, you know, this is what you're looking for. And the price is pretty decent. It's $6.48. Um, and there's a discount here. Notice this discounted monthly price of $3.16. So typically this would be $902. That tells you a lot. Now, this may be COVID prices right here, which is why there's a decent discount. Or it could be that that's just what they give on a monthly uh, basis. Let's go back. And let's see here. This one looks pretty nice. Let's take a look at this one. And hopefully, they'll have some pictures of the bathroom. Two bedrooms, two beds, two baths. There's 65 pictures here. There should be a picture of the bathroom. There's a fan here, and there's an AC unit. You definitely want to look for an AC unit in Vietnam because it's hot. Furniture, what I found is that outside of America, a lot of the furniture is based on the Scandinavian or Ikea designs, which to me doesn't translate to the most comfortable of couches. So you're not going to find the big plush couches that we have in America, but that's okay. You just get used to it. There's a lot of pictures of the living room kitchen area so they're basically letting you know that it's one big open space which is typical here um the hob is going to be right here there's a sink a decent sized apartment refrigerator storage is up here yeah it's pretty decent there's room for everybody to sit down um tvs right here there's plenty of lighting you know these things really factor in when you're living somewhere things you just don't think about this looks like it's a two burner hob, electric. So that you can have two pots cooking at once. There's extra, pl extra plugs here and probably some under, under mount lighting, which again is a help. Decent sink here. Kitchen isn't bad. And here's our first bedroom. There's windows, there's an AC unit. Bed looks pretty decent. Uh, there's room to pl place stuff. This. Not sure what that is. Maybe a rolling something or other. There's another bedroom. It's a little bit smaller. Another picture of the couch. Thank you. All right. Let's hopefully get to the bathrooms. We've seen the house. Bedroom again. It's a pretty decent size. I don't like beds where you have to crawl over someone to get in. Um, but hey. Some of the things you have to give up when you're living, uh, renting an apartment in another country. Hey, that's weird. Alrighty. Pictures of the beach. And we're coming back. They're showing off the AC unit. I'm blazing through. They're trying to show you the, the neighborhood. I wish they would show us pictures of the bathroom. That's what I'm more concerned with. And it looks like out of 65 pictures, there's not one picture of the bathroom. All right, we're going to close out of that one. I was hoping I could see it again, but it's not going to happen. So I would, if I was really interested in this, I would send them a message. Again, note that 30% monthly discount price of $342. All righty. So we're still... That's, that's way more than what we want to pay here. Let's take a look at this one. Let's see how many pictures we got. 32 pics. Let's hope we get a bathroom. All right, so couch, again, they're a little different here. A decent sitting area. I can't complain. There isn't a dining room table or kitchen table here, so we like to sit down for dinner together as a family, um, and we wouldn't be able to do this here. But there's a washer here, and that's a huge plus. Uh, you rarely to never will find a dryer. Most people hang their clothes out to dry. Uh, and what I'm finding in Vietnam is that washers aren't as common as well. So this is beautiful to have a washer in there. And this may be a washer-dryer combo. I don't think the washer dryer combos are that great. They never work. They never try as well. 
So to me, wash it, hang it out on the balcony to dry, and you're good to go. You can buy a drying rack at, at any major uh, store in any city. And it looks like it's a two burner hob. Um, there's a gas, I mean, a smoke detector thing above it. A little sink. They, they do offer you some utensils, um, a hot pot, or what I used to call it, for tea, a kettle, a hot kettle, kettle, electric kettle. And so, a lot of these things you definitely want to check if you're going to be here for a month. They won't offer you spices and things like that, but you definitely need chopsticks. Uh, cooking utensils, stuff that you don't want to have to purchase, again, if you cook. So, as soon as you walk in the door, there's the kitchen, and then there's the living room. Here's one of the bedrooms, and I think we may actually see a bathroom here. And you'll see why I say you have to look at the bathrooms. And do you see why I say that? Look at here. Here's the bathroom, and... It's clear. You can see in there. That's right. You can see into the bathroom from the room. Uh, I experienced it for the first time in China. It was weird. I don't know who designed that and thought that was cool, but it's pretty common in Southeast Asia. So you have to be cognizant of that. Um, and you have to make sure that they say it's two bathrooms, that they're actually two bathrooms. Um, and so I'm looking for distinguishing marks to indicate that it's two different bathrooms and it's not the same one. So I can actually shower and look at my wife while she's laying in the bed. Yeah, that's not what we like. And they always want some extra pictures of the area. And it's beautiful. It's Danae. Okay, so those are the things that we look for when we're, we're looking at apartments via Airbnb. You definitely want to look at the um, reviews. Uh, there's 13 reviews for this one. Let's look at it again. Um, and you want to read them, like really read each one of the reviews. Um, do, don't be surprised because there's always this like, one little thing that really was like, oh, I didn't, okay. Like we moved into one apartment in Cambodia and no one really mentioned in the reviews that right across the street was a restaurant slash bar that stayed open at 2 o'clock every morning, every night of the week. Um, and our apartment was right there, our bedroom. You could hear it all night long up to 2 o'clock in the morning. And so that would have been one of the things that someone should have mentioned in one of the reviews. Um, you also want to try to get a good glimpse of where it's at on the street. If you can go to Google Maps, which I do as well, um, just to see what's around the area. So, this person stayed here for two months. Um, the staff was extremely pleasant. There is a rooftop swimming pool. So, this isn't bad, right? Quiet escape in the heart of the city. Good location. The river is not far. Reception very helpful. Very helpful. Very spacious rooms. There's a 35% monthly discount price. So, you, the price is generally around 1200 they're going to drop it down to eight seventy six, which is above my budget. But there's always possibilities. Let's take a look at it real quick. There's a pool. Ah, uh, no, no can do. So we work from home, and I can't sit here and work, right? There's no back support. Uh, we can't get comfortable here and watch a movie at night. So these are the things you got to think about. And you're like, but, 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 cat. I'm not living here, living here, but you are, though. This is exactly what you're doing. You're actually living here <clears throat> in this apartment for a month, and you have to be comfortable. If you're only going to be here for vacation, totally different. Do what you got to do. Uh, but, yeah, this is very small. You can tell it's small because everything's red there. Uh, two burner hob. Good sink. I actually like the, the design of the kitchen, except for the fact that there's no above counter storage. So that means everything's got to go down here, and that's going to limit what you have uh, and basically what's available as well. There is a kettle. Hopefully, there's some pots and pans, and generally, they'll tell you that in the description as well. Again, I, I like the kitchen. I just wish they did some above, um, above counter storage. Fridge is small, but that's okay. Few plates and few cups. 
those are things you got to look for. There's, a, I guess, a soda fridge that just takes up more storage. So it looks like they bought one of those set kitchens uh, from Ikea. Oh, there's a washer and dryer. Perfect. You know, I like that. I really do. Bedroom's decent size. Coffee in the lobby. There's a safe. Bathroom is, oh, it's a open bathroom. Uh, and what by that, I mean there is no divide or it's a wet bathroom. I mean, use a correct phrasing. It's a wet bathroom, which means that there is no divide between the shower, the sink, and the toilet. So here's the sink. Here's the shower. Here's the toilet. So all this is going to get wet when you shower. I lived with a wet bathroom for six months in Cambodia. I actually didn't mind it. There's maid service. I'm assuming with this, and you will read all that in the details if it really, really interested you. This isn't a bad hotel. I wouldn't stay here for a month. I do a week here, um, maybe two weeks, and that'd be really pushing it. And again, it's mainly because of the couch. I just think... They really need to really rethink that couch. Read all the information, the cancellation policies, uh, what you're going to get. Make sure that everything uh, is what you're looking for. I would also uh, what you're going to get. Make sure that everything uh, is what you're looking for. I would also screenshot everything from the day that you actually reserved it so that there's no changes later on um, that you're not aware of. And that, that could be detrimental for you, you know? Things that you thought were going to be there aren't there because you read it. Now, mind you, you could have been confused because you could have looked at 20 apartments. And, and they all sort of blend together after a while, which is also one of the th tips that I recommend is that you look, decide, give it 24 hours, and then reserve. That way, you're a little bit fresher. You can come back with uh, objective eyes, I guess. You've had a whole bunch of things floating in your head. Go back, look at it, and say, okay, this is what we really want or what I want, and we're going to reserve it today. And that's what Airbnb. I'm trying to think of any other tips I can think of. I like Airbnb. A lot of people say they have horror stories. I've actually never had a horror story with Airbnb. Um, I've just learned a lot. And again, quick down and dirty tips. Read all the reviews. Make sure everything that you need is there. If they say pots and pans, if you need pots and pans to be cooked, look for the pots and pans. Look for them in the pictures. Look at the couch. Make sure it's something that you can sit on. If you don't need a kitchen table, don't worry about it. <clears throat> but if you need one, you got kids, and you need someone for them to sit and eat, you definitely need to make sure that it's in one of the pictures. If it's not, send the host a message saying, hey, can you send me a picture of the bathroom, of the kitchen table, of the bedroom fully expanded, not just as, you know, pretty little snapshots. Um, I don't need a picture of a flower vase. Can you send me an actual video of the apartment? Things of that nature. You can also ask them, um, what street is this on? Not the actual address. A lot of people will give you that, but you ask what street this is on. So you can do a Google search and try to find it. If it's in an apartment building, ask for the name of the apartment building. So you, again, you can do a little bit more research. Um, review the host. Go and see how many properties they do have. Uh, see what other reviews for the other properties. Make sure that the host is good to go. Super hosts are great. Some people have problems with them too as well. So it's not really up to you. Um, check out the bathrooms. You gotta really pay attention to those bathrooms. And maybe that's my pet peeve. But um, just, just check the pictures. And if you check the pictures, you read the reviews, you make sure this is what you want and you give it that 24 hour wait, you'll be fine. Uh, also, I'm trying to think of one other thing. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Oh, this was a tip. If the price is a little bit high for you and you have a set budget, which we do, ask them. All you can do is ask, hey, can you lower your rates to this? And if they can, they will. And if they can't, they won't. It's really that simple. And if you really want the apartment, you may have to pay a little bit more for it. And you can also get a home on here. You can do a room on here. Studio apartments are very common in Southeast Asia. A studio apartment will have uh, basically a bed, a couch maybe, 
a mini kitchen, all in one room, uh, for relatively cheap to inexpensive. Um, and I also mentioned at the beginning of the video that you can also go to the groups on Facebook and look for uh, apartments. And I did do that because I do have a criteria that we're looking for that I can find here on Airbnb or I can find there. And I've already got a couple places that we're looking at. So I may not actually be renting on Airbnb for this visit, but some of those same apartments that were sent to me are on Airbnb and I'd already looked at them. So I can see what the pricing is, you know. It's a little bit higher on Airbnb most of the time because they have to factor in fees and things of that nature. The one thing I do like about Airbnb for me is convenience and that everything's lumped together. I don't have to worry about electricity bills, cable bills, internet bills, water bills, gas bills. It's all one big sum and I'm done. Um, you can also get maid service. It's generally lumped in there as well. And we love maid service, who doesn't? So, um, yeah, so this, those are the things that we like about Airbnb. And I'm generally the person in our family who does the research and locks us into an, a place. And we've been okay. We haven't had any horrible places at all uh, on this trip uh, of a lifetime. Uh, but we've learned at each apartment what we need for the next one, you know. Um, so <clears throat> with this one, we have pretty much everything. We like the space. We like the layout of it. Bathrooms are a little dark. We would prefer uh, a little more light in the bathroom. I don't know what our fixation is with bathrooms, but seriously, uh, we have one. Um, a little few more utensils. We had to go and buy a few more utensils here, but that's again on us. Um, and, and just little things. We bought a couple more cups. We bought uh, some more silverware just to use. But we do that at almost every place that we go. We always add a little bit. But thankfully here, we didn't have to buy major appliances like we've had to before. Uh, we bought little toaster ovens at our place in Malaysia. We bought a toaster oven for our place in Cambodia here. There was a toaster oven, there was a microwave, there was a rice cooker, there was a uh, tea kettle. So all those things were here. Uh, we replaced the tea kettle. That was it. So we've been actually pretty fortunate in that regard. Uh, but again, these are just tips that we use for Airbnb. Hopefully they will help you uh, in your journey as you're hopefully planning on coming to Southeast Asia for more than a uh, vacation. But even if it's just a vacation, these things, or these tips will actually help you a lot as well. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or, hey cat, I never even thought about that, feel free to leave them in the comments. Subscribe, like, follow, share, do all those things as we experience Da Nang next in July. Oh, I'm excited. Peace and love, y'all.